Chris, uh, talking about this sad hotel of yours, uh, you are in yeah. Toronto filming a movie? Vancouver filming Vancouver. a Netflix show. It's season two of Space Force, and I, I play the crazy janitor. Oh, wonderful. Space Force, that's with the, who's our friend that stars on that? Stephen Carell. Steve Carell, John Malkovich. It's really, it's really wild to be a part of, and I feel very lucky, but these the Canadians are very strict with the lockdowns, it turns out. I mean, f I've been fully vaccinated for a very long time, and I still have to sit in a hotel room for 14 days. And they've told me that you don't take a walk around the block. Really? You, you can't even go outside just for a walk with a mask on? You don't leave a hotel room for 14 days, which is maddening, because wow. as I want to reiterate... I have been fully vaccinated <laughs> right mid April. Like I'm so good to go. And I, my wife is at home with our two year old. I'm like, this is not good for anybody. So I'm on also, you can hear that I'm starting to crack from this situation <laughs> and you guys should know I'm on day two. Oh, geez, that's <laughs> that's oh no. Day two. And I'm already this. You've got 12 more. So are you, are you, um, ordering pizzas in you're ordering food i mean you're only there two days but how are that would so you can't even walk down to get food no you have to use instacart they tell you to instacart and uh you can do room service the, the first so when you first arrive you have to take a covid test before you leave okay when you get the negative you're allowed on the plane then you take another one at the airport in canada and then you have to go to a canadian government certified quarantine hotel so that's like an airport hotel that hotel was nice and they had a food situation where you just call them up. You don't have to pay for the food. They give you breakfast, lunch, dinner, and it was a good hotel. And then when the negative test comes back from the airport, they switch you to, you know, if you live here, you go to your house or your apartment. For me, they switched me to another hotel that I'm very grateful. Not one to complain about free things, but it is not the nicest place. This place that production is paid for. And they bought me some food. If you guys... You want to see? Absolutely. Give us a little tour of this uh, Space Force uh, purchased room. I came back and they I got me food. And my favorite item is two giant cans of uh, Pinto beans. <laughs> is that the Unico <laughs> brand, Chris? That, yes, that is Unico Pinto That's, beans. Yeah. I know they're about beans. You think Unico? Yeah. Even, the, even the picture on those can looks Yes. Cool. They look That's like bad crazy. beans. They yeah. Look like bad they couldn't beans. even get the photo shoot right to be like, pretend these are good. No, and then my other favorite thing. They, so they, it's like one of these suites where there's a frying pan and stuff. There's no, they, they got me just, um, let's see if you can see this. It's just a bunch of asparagus, <laughs> one, one, one zucchini. It's also to be clear, no oil to cook those things. With. <laughs> Nothing to actually prepare them with. And then maybe the best item is I look in the fridge and there's very little, but there is a cartoonishly large block of mozzarella cheese. <laughs> that I will hold up for you guys. You can see significantly larger than my head. And I have look at the size of that cheese block. I have a notoriously big head as well. And it, you can see it extends for inches above and below. Very long <laughs> cheese block. For, for, the, for the audio listener, it looks like a box of spaghetti. It looks yes. Like yeah. In fact, I thought that's what he was going to, I thought the joke was going to be, and they put the pasta, this what they're in Canada, they keep pasta in the fridge. I literally thought that was the bit. And no, it's just this ply, a piece of uh, two by four of uh, cheese. And let's also be clear too. You said you thought that would be the bit. And I just want to underline it. Not a bit. I think that they actually did. A, an amount of mozzarella cheese that if I ate that within two weeks, I would argue my family would be concerned. Yes, it would be, that's, uh, that's a lot of mozzarella. To hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, or visit NeverNotFunny.com.